It's really pool and snooker played on the lawn. This is a, a sport for eccentrics, I tell you. I've seen grown men break down in tears at this, at this game, just winning one game. And you don't get cocky when you win, and you don't get dejected when you lose. Sometimes I crash out magnificently. Sometimes I you know, might get a cup if I'm lucky, uh, but uh, I don't mind. You know, it's just something I do for enjoyment. It's a bit of fun. Just wonderful to look round at the boards and see all these these people. And my name appears once or twice. I find that when I'm on a croquet ground, um, that everything else is sort of excluded from everyday sort of thinking and life. And when something unexpected is about to happen, it all goes quiet. And that's how you know you're sort of about to do something interesting and suddenly you get really nervous and it's like, is this going to work or not? It's only when you go to a club that you see some proper loans properly prepared that you realise how satisfying the game can be. I became involved in croquet in the first place because I'd retired from cricket and was looking for an alternative to, to sport. Um, if I wanted a knock around in a garden, I'd have to get a bigger garden, but it wouldn't satisfy me at all, no. I play for the fun and the beer and uh, the occasional victory. Well, what's not to like? And I'm reasonably good at it as well. <laughs> what a fabulous game it can be.